Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you something about this homemade RF generator which could excite this tube of neon. After I see Tate's video about his xenon uh, plasma uh, toy, uh, I generate uh, some idea that maybe I should make some uh, low power RF generators. So after I built my 3.6 kilowatt HFSSTC, uh, I go back to this uh, common MOSFET, which type is IRFP460. Uh, you can use this uh, with the uh, word A, which means it will uh, have a lower GD feedback a capacitor uh, than the common IRFP 460s. Uh, so I bought some of them and uh, I used one in this setup. Uh, I bought this heatsink a week ago and uh, uh, I originally want to use this heatsink for uh, my RF uh, VHF amplifier modules which you can see them in my previous videos. Uh, but later I generate my mind that uh, maybe I should make a small power RF generator which can be put on my table uh, working as a beautiful display, right? Uh, so several days ago I uh, just put these components together and make a test circuit. And uh, you can see it in my previous video. But uh, later I found that the power is not very high, so I refined it today. Uh, let us see. The power is from these two power supplies, uh, 24 volts. And uh, let us crank up the gate voltage. Okay. Uh, now uh, the plasma is... Uh, light up and uh, it can be more powerful uh, let me crank up oh okay you see uh, now the plasma is extremely hot uh, high energy density in the tube a glass tube right okay uh, very high power density in the tube and uh, I can even feel the heat uh, thanks to this uh, quartz glass tube, it won't be damaged, but uh, if I use a common glass tube like this, it may be damaged after uh, several tens of minutes operation. Uh, the enameled wire has been cooked. Uh, it has been, uh, the paint has been burnt now. And uh, the heat sink is cold. Uh, you can see I use these Y5U uh, ceramic capacitors for the voltage divider on the gate. Uh, they are very common in switch mode power supplies. And the main resonant capacitor, since uh, the main, uh, the, the main uh, opinion is to uh, make this setup very small, so I don't use the uh, common doorknob capacitors, which ha I have a lot of, but uh, I use these capacitors. Uh, you can see them. Let, uh, let me put, uh, take out one for you to see. Uh, this is a 6 kilo... Oh no, the paint has been wiped off. Uh, 6 kilo volt and the 5 56, 56 picofarad ceramic capacitors. Uh, the uh, component is made of NP0 material, so uh, the temperature characteristic is very stable. Neither positive nor negative. It's very stable and very important in such a high reactive power circuit. Uh, because the capacitor is actually heated up very quickly, it's very hot, uh, I guess maybe 80 degrees now. 
and uh, if you use uh, the Y5U capacitors like here, the capacitance will decrease uh, dramatically and uh, the frequency will go up and the voltage, uh, the divided voltage uh, will be lower. So the efficiency will go down. Uh, then you calculate it. Uh, so it's very important to use the uh, use the NPO material here. Uh, other than the capacitors or some components, let us take a look at the basic circuit layout. Uh, first, as here is a plus supply, and uh, here is an inductor, which you can see here. I use a um, inductor in the magnetron filament circuit. It's very handy, so I used it. Also, it's very small. And this inductor and uh, goes to the switching device, which is IRFP460A, and it goes to the ground. Then, uh, this junction is not also connects to the main resonant loop, uh, serious resonant. So here is the main resonant inductor. Uh, this is a HF SSTC circuit I draw for a friend yesterday, uh, but the main circuit is the same. So this is the main resonant inductor, which is here. And the main resonant capacitor, which is here, right? And the divider capacitor, which is here. Oh, I draw it wrongly. Sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, here actually, not here. Here is connected to ground, and uh, this one here, uh, the divided voltage goes to the gate. Okay. The positive feedback here, so it's a resonant circuit. Uh, the gate divide capacitor here is actually made up of this four capacitors uh, you see they will uh, give the signal from here to the gate to form a positive feedback and the this set is the main resonant circuit and the uh, auxiliary circuit to provide the gate supply bias supply is here uh, 7.5 volt zener diode the smooth capacitors, uh, the resistor for the for current limit of the zener and the uh, this potentiometer for adjusting the voltage and also the startup of the circuit, and also this um, <laughs> this resistor here in case that your MOSFET has has a drain gate breakdown. If you don't have this resistor here, uh, it will burn the potential meter here. Uh, this resistor can be eliminated because it, ju it, it is just a protection for uh, if this potential meter uh, does not have a good connection. Uh, it, this resistor will ground the gate make sure that there won't be a short circuit here. Uh, also, this inductor can be eliminated because uh, it won't have uh, much improvement on the performance, but I prefer to um, just uh, keep it here. Uh, it's just uh, just some uh, standard, uh, circuit standard, um, just that. And uh, uh, the power, the power is around 100 watt, which you can see from here, 200 volts, 220 volts over one amp, including this 70 watt metal halide lamp. Uh, so the power is around 100 watt, maybe over 100 watt, 150 watt, 170 watt, right? Not very hot, slightly warm, maybe 40 degrees, I guess. And uh, this is quite hot now, uh, very, very hot, <laughs> very, very hot now. I can smell the enameled wire, which has been burnt now. <laughs> oh, really good, a really bad smell. Uh, so that is all about today's video. And uh, if you want to build this circuit, 
uh, I uh, I will recommend some uh, parameters for you. First, the input voltage can be 20 volts, 12 to 20 volts if you are a beginner. And you should use IRFP460 MOSFET that is very handy and very uh, will have a good performance in such a high frequency oscillating circuit. Also, uh, this uh, filter capacitor can be eliminated and uh, also you first use around 8 nanofarad gate divide capacitors here. Around 8 nanofarad that will be easier for the circuit to oscillate under a lower voltage. Also, the main resonant capacitor here you should use around 100 picofarad. Okay, oh? You see, the enamel wire is smoking now. <laughs> Very interesting, right? Maybe I should cut the power. Oh, oh, it has been blacked, blackened, right? Oh, very interesting. Very high power, right? Okay, then. Um, uh, you should r run, uh, wind the uh, winding like this. Oh. Very hot, you see. <laughs> uh, okay, that's enough for today's video and uh, demonstration. And I hope you have a nice day.